Hello everyone, thanks for watching. First off, I know there are way more important things to be talking about right now, and I'm gonna get to those things, but this channel's purpose is exposing Democrat state media and discrediting them so they can no longer operate as trustworthy news organizations. And honestly, I just cannot stand this guy and love any opportunity to call out his hackery. Miguel Marquez, a guy that claims to be a Just the Facts reporter, but is obviously just a left-wing Democrat operative. There to protect the narrative, to protect Democrat power, and to smear anything that stands in the way. Even if it's freedom, or as they like to mockingly call it, freedom. Over on Twitter, the only thing that media watchdog Tom Elliott, founder of Grabian Media did, was simply post a clip of Miguel in his own words, attacking the Freedom Convoy protesters and mocking the idea of protesting for freedom. We're gonna get into this more, but first just give me 30 seconds to tell you about this special offer from C60 Evo. Nothing is more important than our health. Because of this, I recommend C60 Evo. C60 Evo has been a part of my daily routine for a while now and I gotta tell you I love the increased energy and the increased mental focus which you may have noticed in my videos here's why you should at least try c60 evo's olive oil product it's manufactured right here in America it's based on Nobel Prize winning chemistry and is supported by peer-reviewed published research including a longevity experiment where the test subjects received the c60 evo formula lived 90% longer than the control group so go to my link in the description or pinned comment and take advantage of a 20% savings by going on subscription. You can cancel at any time. And make sure to use the promo code DRONETECH to get an additional 10% off. Are, are there concerns that protesters may come back and they're not done causing these disruptions? Sorry to burst in really quick. <laughs> the absolute in-your-face gaslighting on display here is just too much to let go. We all know that CNN and other Democrat state media outlets always run defense for left-wing groups and their mob violence. CNN, for example, is famous for their fiery but mostly peaceful BLM riots. In Laura, what you're seeing behind me is one of multiple locations that have been burning in Kenosha, Wisconsin over the course of the night. What you are seeing, the common theme that ties all of this together is an expression of anger and frustration. Be clear in how I characterize this. This is a, mostly a protest. Uh, it is not, uh, it is not generally speaking, unruly. That doesn't even scratch the surface, but you get the idea. Now, in regards to the entirely peaceful freedom protest to lift restrictions and mandates so that people have more freedom and don't have to live in a dystopian society. In regards to those protests, this CNN host is worried about disruptions. The network that said quote, who said that protests were supposed to be polite or peaceful? In defense of left-wing violence, is now worried about disruptions from these entirely peaceful people. Are, are there concerns that protesters may come back and they're not done causing these disruptions? Yeah, most definitely. That is the main concern in the immediate future for police here. Uh, this started off as an anti-vaccine protest and it was anti-mandate. Now it's sort of generically anti-government, all wrapped in this sort of notion or the guise of freedom. You know, whatever that means to these individuals, uh, basically they want exactly what they want, which is all those restrictions gone. Uh, so that uh, because they believe that they're, they're just that they're, that they're just not necessary to the public at large. Back to you. Gee, I wonder which side of the issue this stoic, just the facts newsman falls on. It's a complete mystery. After posting this on Twitter, Miguel grabbed his box of wine and his Kleenex and sat down to respond to the fascist right-wing Nazi who posted it, saying, quote, right-wing troll still at it. <laughs> a chopped quote to make a cheap point. Typical. They don't react well to being called out. Canadian protesters using freedom to try and achieve their anti-vax, pandemic-denying, anti-government goals. It's more like tyranny of a loud minority. Oh, he's calling out the Freedom Convoy protest. How brave of him. Where to start? 
For one, he accuses a legitimate critic of being a right-wing troll for posting a clip of his own words. Two, he claims that the clip was chopped up, when in fact it shows the full clip and context. Three, he attacks these protesters for, quote, using freedom to try and achieve their anti-vax, pandemic-denying, anti-government goals. It's more like tyranny of a loud minority. That's not the response of a reporter. That's the response of a propagandist who's highly invested in his narrative. His entire whining rant was a straw man. These protesters are not anti-vax. They're anti-COVID shot mandates and restrictions. They aren't denying any pandemic. They just want to get on with their lives, just like it seems the rest of the world is now doing. So who's really part of the loud minority here? And the last one here. Oh no, the nerve of protesters protesting against government goals. Protesters are never supposed to do that, right? No, actually, that's exactly the point of protesting. When Republicans are in power and the left or Democrats protest against them, they're protesting against Republican government goals. But no doubt this hack, lacking any self-awareness, sees it as completely different when his side does it. Because those are government goals that he disagrees with. Case in point, when it came to violent left-wing mobs who were a very loud and violent minority, Mikel Marques here had nothing but slobbering defense and support for them. Even when those violent mobs attacked his own cameraman. Even when those violent mobs attacked him. It's now just sort of a, a merry caravan. It is worth pointing out that it has been entirely peaceful, sometimes angry, but entirely peaceful. Bottle thrown, uh, which is not uncommon. Entirely peaceful. Bottle thrown, uh, which is not uncommon. So there is some of that. No, 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 you don't got no trouble. No, 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 we don't. It's all peace, baby. It's all peace. It's all peace. Holy shit. What the fuck you mean? Upon the water, not you over. This nigga fake is for the water. This nigga fake is for the water. All good, people. No worries. Are you good? All good. Fuck out. Fuck out of here. What's up? Tyler, what they do? There was a, a video shared on Twitter uh, of a water bottle being thrown at your crew uh, on one occasion. This seems like it was protesters trying to uh, trying to create trouble. This was a story that went viral in right wing media. Frankly, they claim CNN was covering it up, which is ridiculous. But but tell us what happened. Tell us what happened, Miguel. I cannot blame them for being angry, but you know a lot of people are very angry, suspicious of the press, the corporate media. All those things come into it at these places and. Uh, it was just one of those situations that it was intense. There were people who were angry at everything and everybody, and we happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, when it came to those openly violent left-wing mobs, he understood their anger. Their anger was based on cherry-picked stories and carefully omitted data put out by his employer. So it was different when they do it, and his job is to rationalize that on the air. All right, that's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. It really helps the video. And leave a comment to let us all know what you think.